Welcome to an exciting journey into the world of culinary delights. Today, we're exploring a dish that's a sensation across continents, the delightful chicken momos with sauce. Originating from the mountainous regions of Tibet, this dish has won hearts with its simplicity and irresistible flavor. Imagine biting into a soft, delicate dumpling, releasing a burst of succulent chicken, all complemented by a tangy, spicy sauce. It's a symphony of textures and tastes, all rolled into one. Get ready to master the art of making sumptuous chicken momos with sauce. Unveiling the key to deliciousness. Our ingredients. Let's start with the stars of the show. Chicken, flour, onion, and garlic. The chicken, succulent and rich in protein, forms the heart of our momos. Flour, the base of our dough, creates that perfect soft outer shell. Onion and garlic infuse the chicken with a pungent tantalizing aroma that's hard to resist. Now, let's move on to the fiery brigade for our sauce. Tomatoes, chilies, and vinegar. Tomatoes with their tangy sweetness form the base of our sauce. Chilies add that much needed heat, turning the sauce into a fiery delight. And vinegar, my friends, is the secret twist. It adds a sharp tanginess that cuts through the richness of the chicken and the heat of the chilies, balancing the flavors perfectly. And there you have it! With these ingredients at hand, you're all set to whip up some mouth-watering chicken momos. Dive into the first step, preparing the chicken. Now, the heart of our momos is the succulent, flavorful chicken filling. Don't worry, it's not as daunting as it seems. Let's start by chopping up our chicken into fine pieces. The finer, the better because we want the filling to be compact. While you're at it, let's also chop up some onions and garlic. These aren't just for taste, they're an essential part of the texture. A little crunch, a little tang, that's the secret. Once that's done, let's move over to the stovetop. Heat up a pan and drop in your chicken, onions, and garlic. You want to saute them until they're well cooked and the flavors meld together. The aroma filling up your kitchen that's the smell of deliciousness in the making. And voila! You've successfully prepared your chicken filling for the momos. With your delectable chicken filling ready, we're halfway there. Now, we need our way to perfect momos. The heart of a delectable momo lies in its dough. A canvas for our flavorful chicken filling. It's simple, yet crucial. So let's dive right in. We begin with some all-purpose flour. The amount you'll need largely depends on how many momos you're planning to make. For a batch of about 20, roughly two cups should do the trick. Pour the flour into a large mixing bowl, making a well in the center. Into this well, gradually add water. Here's where the magic happens. Using your hands, mix the flour and water together, combining them until they form a dough. It's a tactile and rewarding process, feeling the dough come together beneath your fingers. The goal is a smooth, pliable dough, not too sticky, not too dry. Once you're satisfied with the dough's consistency, it's time for a little rest. Cover the dough with a damp cloth and let it sit for about half an hour. This allows the gluten in the flour to relax, making the dough easier to roll out later. Speaking of rolling, that's our next step. Pinch off a small piece of dough and roll it into a ball. On a lightly floured surface, roll this ball out into a thin circle. Remember, the thinner your dough, the more delicate your momos will be. Now, for the grand assembly. Take a spoonful of your prepared chicken filling and place it in the center of the rolled out dough. Don't be too generous, or you'll have trouble sealing the momos. Fold the dough over the filling, pleating as you go around the edge. This technique, while it may take some practice, ensures a tight seal, keeping all that delicious filling safely inside. And there you have it, a perfectly assembled momo, a little parcel of joy ready to be transformed in the steam. Repeat this process with the remaining dough and filling. Voila! Your momos are now ready to be steamed to perfection. With their thin dough encasing a burst of flavor, these momos promise to be a delightful culinary adventure. So let's march forward to the steamer, shall we? The final leap. Steaming the momos and preparing the sauce. Now, we've arrived at the grand finale of our culinary journey. The momos are assembled and ready for their transformation. Steaming is an art in itself, coaxing the flavors to meld together while keeping the filling juicy and the outer layer soft. Place the momos in a steamer, ensuring they're not touching each other. Let them bask in the steam for about 15 to 20 minutes, while our little pockets of joy are being steamed to perfection. 
let's turn our attention to the sauce. This sauce, my friends, is a game changer. It's an explosion of flavors, a perfect blend of tangy, spicy, and sweet. Start by blending ripe tomatoes, fiery chilies, and a dash of vinegar. The tomatoes bring a rich sweetness, the chilies add a kick of heat, and the vinegar ties it all together with its tanginess. Blend these ingredients until smooth. If you're feeling adventurous, you can add a clove of garlic or a pinch of sugar for an extra layer of flavor. Once our sauce is ready, it's time to check on our momos. They should be beautifully steamed, their translucent skin revealing the luscious filling within. There you have it, delectable chicken momos with sauce ready to be devoured. Congratulations on creating a culinary masterpiece. Just imagine the joy when you take your first bite of the juicy chicken momos dipped in the tangy sauce. Let's bring this joy to the world. Don't hesitate to try this recipe and share your experiences. And remember, this is just one of the many culinary adventures that await. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more such delectable recipes. Your kitchen is your canvas and your ingredients, your colors. Until next time, happy cooking!